This is Anna Sabramowitz from eLearner Engaged, and today I'll be talking to you about learning goals. Okay, so um, who thinks they are important? I'm going to give you a scenario here, and uh, this happened actually quite recently. Uh, I was on Facebook, and one of my friends is taking a course at, uh, at a nursing college. And uh, what she was doing is she was uh, putting some updates up every couple of hours. And the updates went something like this. A thousand more words to go, yeah. 750 more words to go, yeah, this essay is almost finished. And, you know, subsequently it got smaller and smaller. And I thought about how if that instructor was able to see that their uh, essay about some kind of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, maybe, had been reduced to uh, simply a word count, and, you know, spacing and fonts, would that make them happy? Would that make them feel like that student had walked away with those goals that they had initially set out for them to achieve? So, and that's in, you know, and that's quite common in that university setting uh, or college setting. When you look at uh, how that uh, translates in the corporate setting, and I've done this myself, uh, when you have uh, mandatory training, uh, or when you have to achieve a certain amount of modules before you move on to the next either level in pay, it has to be a check mark, or it has to be the next level in, uh, in your job position, and in order to achieve it you have to have this check mark. So what you end up doing is breezing and blowing through all this training just so you can get that check mark without ever actually having it uh, impact the quality of your work. You're, you're just going through the motions to achieve this, um, this requirement. And it's sad because I know that a lot of that e-learning, corporate e-learning, has a lot of money invested in it. But you have to think about it, are you, are you, are you making the learning goals um, achievable and also are you making them relevant to the person who's taking this course? I mean, if, if, uh, if the student in university is saying, this uh, book has nothing to do with my life or I can't relate to these characters or I don't even know why this teacher is making me read it and now I have to produce something and if I produce it you know enough to these qualifications of you know 1200 words I'm going to get the A so what is it going to take I'm going to get it done and that's it and there's no none of that underneath surface stuff that everybody feels that they they want their students to achieve like critical thinking and passion and wanting to be a lifelong learner. It, you know, and you want those in a corporate environment as well. You want people to be self-motivated lifelong learners. And are you achieving that through making them go through 12 modules that you know they breeze through in about a week? So the second part of it is what do your learning modules focus on? Is it completion? Is it getting to the final product? Is it the steps in between? We have to think about those things and you have to think about why you want people to go through your training. And do they benefit anyone? Now, I remember when I used to work in a corporate environment, we had um, frontline employees that we had e-learning designed for. And a part of the mandate for being a manager or a supervisor is that you had to go through the same training modules that the frontline staff had to go through. Now, let me tell you that if you have no relationship to the end job, and making, you know, going through that training is completely useless. I mean, I don't know why this is done, but I've seen it in a lot of companies where it's a mandate of the company for everybody to go through the same training. How irresponsible. You are now making, making everybody uh, cut from the same cloth. You're not, uh, you're not being respectful to your audience. I mean, do I really need to know how to push a button on a phone when I'm the one who's actually deciding how these procedures, let's say, are going to be implemented online? I mean, we're talking about two different requirements, two different needs. High-level overview, perfect. Okay, but don't make everybody go through the same training and expect to get fabulous results and, and uh, relevant results. You're wasting people's time. So. Think about your audience, respect your audience when you're uh, designing the training. Are you making the best use of their time? Are you making the learning objectives clear? Are they relevant to your learners? Don't waste their time because the next time you roll out something, anything, even if it's super duper good, they're not going to want to see it. Why? Because you put them through all the other terribly unhelpful and um, unfocused training. So. 
I could go on. <laughs> but if you have any examples or any kind of commentary about your own experiences, please share them here. Please post some comments. And I hope to see you next time.